So you guys, I want to make this video claiming and stating that the only time when I really ever feel like I'm an actual human being is when I'm away from other human beings. Okay, okay, I'm going to I'm going to say that again. The only time when I actually feel like I'm a human being is when I'm away from other human beings. Sadly, this has become my my ultimate truth. Damn, I shouldn't have put the nicotine pouches in my mouth right then when I was going to talk, but... But hopefully I can uh, make this video recording just, you know, just trying to flow better with my words, but unfortunately I haven't drinking enough yet for the words to actually flow properly because I guess I am... Um, I'm just, I'm, you know, supposedly I'm supposed to drink a limited amount of alcohol just, just for me to like, just have the words flow properly, you know? And I think that goes for, um, for most of us. But... Yeah, and I literally, I literally feel invisible. I literally feel invisible to most people I come across. And to be honest, this has shown in the past, like, this has shown in the past from when I was working at some of, of when I was working at some of my previous jobs that I was working, like, like, say, for instance, I would be working at my workplace and, you know, I, you know, and I would be, I would be comfortable talking with, um, say, like, I don't know, say, like, two or three other people, like, in a group, you know, you know, take, take my Goodwill job, for instance, when I was working at Goodwill, you know, of course, everybody, like, you know, helped each other out with, like, you know, the recovery of the store, like just picking the store up um, from all the messes that people have made in the store. You know, say that, say that, you know, a group of us would come together and like, it would be like me and like three other, in three other individuals who, who would have been working, you know, just just general like recovery, just picking up, picking up, um, you know, items that people have left from in the store. And, you know, whenever I would be in, whenever I'd be working with my coworkers and like, I would be like talking with like two of them or like, or like three of them, like we'd be all talking like in a group. Right. And this, this, this would be like when the store had closed down like you know the store usually closed down at like 10 o'clock and like you know all of us would would come together to like clean up the store um to make it presentable for the next day and like you know i would be with these people Oops. sorry i got a burp um I, you know say i would be with these people my co-workers and like say like I wanted to say something like say I wanted to say something and like you know maybe one or two of these other people would be talking and like I you know and then I would I would try to say something and then whenever I would say something like whenever I would try to say something you know just speaking my mind about anything like they would just totally like ignore like what I said like, 
you know, of course they would hear what I said, but, you know, when it, when I would say something, like, they just, they just wouldn't, you know, they just wouldn't take it into consideration. They would just, like, you know, they would just totally, like, brush off, like, what I, what I said. And this is a prime example of certain individuals who have somewhat, you know, have somewhat, like, evolved, you know, evolved or, like, they're just trying, you know, this, this certain individual will be trying to, like, make themselves better for, for, just for themselves, you know, like, I, you know, I've, I've always been, like, I've always been, like, a quiet, like, introverted person, but, you know, like, whenever I, whenever I tried to say something, whenever I tried to give my two cents, on, on what I thought about any kind of situation or tried to, like, start up any kind of conversation, like, they would just totally, like, ignore what I said. And I'm thinking, okay, well, and then I, you know, I wouldn't take it to heart. I'd be like, okay, well, <laughs> these people just don't want to listen to what I say, so I just, I might as well just, you know, stay quiet or just not say anything at all, and, and, and that's the main reason why I am quiet, is because whenever I try to say something, people just, people don't care about, people, people genuinely just don't care about what I have to say at all. So, in general, you know, in all, in all reality, in all, in all actuality, people just don't, people just don't care about what I have to say, you know, and it could be about anything. And even, you know, and even when I walk outside, even, even when I walk outside with certain individuals, like, they either, like, they won't look at me in the face, or they just, they just they just won't acknowledge my presence at all and this is why this is why i feel invisible i feel i feel invisible to most people and this is why this is why i generally just keep to myself you know because i you know i know that people just they don't care they don't care about what i have to say i don't know you know, this is, this is, this is, this has been a reality for me. This has been my reality for me for, for quite some time, for quite a while. And, you know, I, I, I was thinking earlier, like, I was listening, I was listening to, um, lo um, Lonely Black Pillars, um, content on, on his channel, and, like, you know, he was saying, like, you know, he's tired of society. He's tired of these people, too, you know. It's just, you know, people just don't, people just don't give a fuck. People just don't give a damn about what you have to say, you know, for, for any reason, you know. It could, you know. And, I, and I'm tired. I, I'm just, I'm generally just sick and tired of these people just these people out here just being so ego egotistical and just thinking like they're like they're like the shit i'm getting sick and tired of people just thinking like oh they're just they're just the greatest thing since freaking since freaking spicy cheese doritos dorito onion flavored freaking gummy flavored dorito fucking Whatever the shit, you know, I, I'm sick and tired of people, I'm sick and tired of people just acting like their freaking shit doesn't stink, and like, they're, you know, it's, and it's just like when you, when you try and come out to speak, it's like people could just, people just, people just freaking write you off, like, like you're, like you're nothing, like you're a nobody, man, and... It really is getting ridiculous and, you know, and, and it's getting even worse now because all people do is just, all people do is just drive around and, and look at their cell phones all day. That's all people do. 
you know? And I had this thought earlier that I was gonna that I was gonna comment on um on one of Lonely Black Pillar's uh, videos. I was gonna comment. I was gonna comment. I I just I just wish that a freaking meteor, a freaking big asteroid or a meteor would come down and hit Earth. And and sure, yeah, it would wipe out most of the population, but. Maybe this meteor would, um, you know, for, for, for the ones that had survived, for, for the people who had survived, um, you know, this is, this isn't a fictional, like, kind of thought out process world, but this meteor would, like, possibly, like, you know, make, made the ones that had survived, like, a lot fucking smarter, and sure, it, sure, it may, it may have wiped out, like, half of the population, but for most of the people who, who would, who would survive the, the, the asteroid hitting the earth, like, it, it would have made them smarter, and it would have made these people smart enough to the point to where, you, you know they 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 could build this earth they could they could build this earth quite possibly um you know they could build this earth um as human beings like on their own you know we wouldn't have to rely on like no government to freaking govern us we wouldn't have to rely on like a wage slave job just to just to survive, like the, like the meteor, the asteroid would have made the people who had survived from the meteor hit, like it would have made, it, it, it would make us smarter to the point to where like we could just, we could just live, we could just live on, on this earth on our own and we could possibly just, you know, rebuild back this society on our own. Like we would have the knowledge we would have, we would still have the resources to um, build this earth back. Um, you know, and possibly, possibly without technology, we, we would be smart enough to, you know, build our own society back without, <laughs> Without other people, just without without this uh, without this other governing like species, just like reigning over us, and um, and yeah, and I have to state I have to I have to state in this video again, like yeah, I I do I do feel invisible. I do feel invisible to most people. For whatever reason, I don't know. I don't know. And it's just like I could, you know, I could be like walking somewhere and I could like, and I could like pass by a person, you know, a person could be like walking right past me and just like seem like they're, they don't even acknowledge my presence at all. It really is crazy. It's crazy, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking off, off the top of my freaking weird alien head that it's, it's this way because, it's this way because I've, you know, as, as an individual, as a lone individual myself, I have put in I have put in the spiritual work. I have put in the spiritual work for myself to um to really just you know out to really just outreach this um this mundane freaking plain ass society. I I've reached you know, I, I've, I've already, you know, since 2012, I've already surpassed this freaking third dimension physical realm already. So, 
in, in turn, this has made me, this has made me somewhat invisible to other people who are, who, who may still be dwelling in the third dimension, this, this physical plane, this physical earth. You know, that, you know, this, this, this has already happened. This has already happened since, since 2012, like 2012 was like my growth point. And, um, you know, what's crazy. Like I, you know, I, um, 2012 was a year when I was still living at my parents' place and like, you know, my parents have like a hot tub and all that. And, you know, they, they have a hot tub at their, at their place. They have a pool. So like whenever, whenever I would want to get into, um, the hot tub or like in, in, in any kind of like water source, I enjoyed being in like literally you guys, I'm not making this up. Literally. I felt like I felt like they were there were like wings. I felt like there were like wings like growing on my back. Like literally, like I, I like I literally like whenever I was in this water, in the hot tub water, just feeling relaxed, um feeling feeling this blissful like in the, I was in the, like this blissful state of mind. You know, while I was listening to my music, like in, 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 you know, in the jacuzzi and all that. And while, while I was in this blissful state, you know, of course I was smoking 420 at the time. I was smoking weed. So whenever I would take a hit of weed and I felt really good, I felt really stoned. Um, I would put my earbuds in and just listen to my music for about like half an hour to an hour. Just, just me just sitting in there like relaxed. I would literally feel like, you know, I would literally feel like these two, like these two slots two the like this, like this two, like the, like these two energy signatures on my back that felt like wings they, they, they felt like wings were growing, like, on my back. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. So, so literally, like, I have, I have been ascended. I have been, I, I have reached the higher realms. I am, I am in the higher realms now, even though I'm still in this physical body. There is another part of me that has reached the star systems, the, the star realms. And, you know, like I, you know, I, I communicate well with wild animals. I communicate, I can communicate well with like birds. I can communicate well with young children because when I go out here in this apartment, when I go out of here in this apartment and I see, um, these, these three young children, um, they always acknowledge me. They always acknowledge me. Even, even if I don't acknowledge them first, like they, you know, the young children, the young children are the ones that acknowledge me first. I don't even have to say anything. So, so that is proof right there that I still have a pure heart. I still have that light energy signature within my aura. And, you know, and the young children, the young children can sense that, you know, they can sense my aura, you know, and they can sense that, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not normal. I'm not a normal human being. I, you know, I, I don't even know if I am human anymore, to be honest, because the only time the only time when I ever feel like I am truly human is when I'm away from other people. That's the only time. That's the only time. And you know, the trees, the trees can sense my energy too, like, and the only reason why I know the trees can sense my energy too is that 
whenever I go away from um, whenever I go away from where I'm living and I go to be with the trees, you know, like I notice that, you know, I notice that a lot of these wild birds, a lot of these wild birds will just like so many of them will just flock to one tree and just, and just, there are just so many of them in a group and like there'll, there'll just be like so many of them in a group and they will just flock to that one tree that I'm, that I'm standing at, that, that I'm near at. And I'm thinking, wow, okay, yeah, there's something really going on here. There's something really changing within me in my DNA. It's, and it's all because it's all because I put in the inner work. I put in the inner work. I'm always by myself. I'm always alone. You know, of course, I have my family. Of course, I have my family. Of course, I have my, 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 my male partner with me. You know, he loves me. But, you know, with, you know, but in the in the case with other people yeah they really don't they really don't acknowledge me at all they really don't unless unless i try to say something to them first they really don't acknowledge me to be honest with you like most people don't so that's why i stay to myself and um I truly believe that my higher self, my higher self has reached a few of these star realms, um, and, uh, you know, the stars can really, the stars have really, like, communicated to me back, because sometimes I, I go through these dream scenarios where, it really does feel like real life. Like, I don't know, it's crazy. And, you know, and even with the praying mantis that I just saw a few days ago, like, it's crazy. Like, when, like, when, like, I, like, I rarely, like, I rarely see praying mantises. It's like, what, like, why, why did that praying mantis why did that praying mantis come to the window like that? Like, why did he stay there? Why did he stay there for... He, he probably stayed there for about, like, five hours, you know, just chilling there on the window screen, you know? And it's probably because that praying mantis, like, he was trying, like, he was trying to feel my energy out. You know, you know, and certain insects, certain birds will, will do that if they feel like, you know, if they feel like a human or whatever is um, evolved enough to, you know, evolve spiritually enough to just stay there for a while. And that's what I think, that's, that, that's what I think really really transpired I don't know some things are just some things are just totally unexplainable I can't I can't put it into words really and and that one morning that one morning when I saw that that one morning when I saw that like big eclipse that one morning when I saw that big eclipse uh the big the big abyssal moon in the sky that dream i had with with the big with the big moon abyss it was like it was like a it was like the hugest it was like the largest eclipse that i've ever seen in a dream and when i woke up from that dream and i took my dog out to go to the trash and everything like they were literally there were literally birds like flying and following me around. Like, like how can you, how can you freaking, how can you freaking explain that? How can you explain that? 
it's literally insane, to be honest with you. And that's that's proof. That's that's total proof that I am I am still growing spiritually. And my aura, my aura is just growing larger and larger every day. That's, that's like literal proof right there that my aura is getting stronger. But yet the people here in the third dimension, the people here in the third dimension who are still connected and, um, who are still connected and just, you know, they thrive for material things that this earth has to offer, that, that this earth has to offer, like, they literally just, most of these people out here just literally, they literally can't sense my energy at all. And I'm thinking, yeah, and I'm thinking, yeah, it's because I've ascended, I've ascended to these certain star realms a long fucking time ago. So most of my presence, most of my energy presence that's, that's somewhat still here on Earth, it's not there anymore because I've, I've totally reached a higher realm. I've reached a higher realm to where 